Welcome to the demonstration on how to configure a VMware Virtual SAN 16 node cluster with vSphere Distributed Switch. VMware Virtual SAN is a new storage solution from VMware that is fully integrated with the vSphere 5.5 UI. It automatically aggregates server disks in a cluster to create shared storage that can be rapidly provisioned from VMware vCenter during the creation of virtual machines. During the initial beta release of Virtual SAN, the supported cluster configurations were a minimum of three nodes and a maximum of eight nodes. With the official release of VMware Virtual SAN, the supported cluster configurations have been increased to match the vSphere platform clustering capability of 32 nodes per cluster. Let us begin the demonstration by logging on to the vSphere web client and configuring the network settings required by VMware Virtual SAN. Start by going to the networking view and adding the hosts. We use the vSphere distributed switch named 10G Network. Right-click on the switch and click on Add and Manage Host. Select the hosts that are currently available in the cluster. In this example, we select all 16 hosts presented by the wizard. In order to simplify the configuration process of multiple hosts, Select the option to Configure Identical Network Settings on Multiple Hosts, which is the template mode feature at the bottom of the wizard. Select a host to use as the template for the configuration and verify that Manage Physical Adapters and Manage VM Kernel Adapter are selected in order to configure both for all the added hosts. To configure the physical network adapters, choose an unclaimed NIC and assign it to an uplink. To apply the same physical network adapter configuration to all remaining hosts in the cluster, click the Apply to All link. Now, to configure the VM kernel network adapters, click the New Adapter link. We browse for an existing distributed port group in the 10G network distributed switch called vSAN Network. Under the Port Properties, Enable the Virtual SAN traffic service required by Virtual SAN and click Finish. Apply the configuration to the remaining hosts by clicking the Apply All link. Acknowledge the VM kernel network configuration of the remaining hosts. Now we need to enable Virtual SAN on the vSphere cluster. Navigate to the Hosts and Clusters view and select the cluster object. Go to the Manage tab, select General under Virtual SAN, click Edit, select Turn on Virtual SAN, and select Automatic, which will add disks to storage to enable Virtual SAN. Within a few minutes, the storage from all 16 nodes will pool into a single distributed data store. This concludes the demonstration on how to configure a virtual SAN 16 node cluster with vSphere Distributed Switch. For more details and documentations about VMware Virtual SAN, please visit the VMware Virtual SAN product page. Thank you.